All right, in this video, we're going to show you the Stream 101 Media Control Panel uh, that's provided. Uh, it's uh, Centova Cast uh, version 3 um, with some customizations for uh, Stream 101. Uh, first thing we're going to do, we're going to log in. Uh, we'll show you some features of, of the control panel here. Um, you'll notice that it keeps a list of uh, recently played tracks. Um, I am doing live streaming on this particular example. So you'll see that they have question marks because we don't. Uh, I don't have it set up to pull album art for uh, live streams. It only pulls album art for auto DJ. Um, so we'll just ignore that from there. Uh, first thing we're going to check out is under the Quick Links. Um, Quick Links has pretty much everything you need to get started. Um, quick reminders. Um, you've got your stream start page. You can go ahead and click on that. And this is a little page we provide that. Um, kind of shows where your listeners are at, uh, lets the stream actually play right through the web browser here. Um, so, you know, if, if you don't have a website set up um, or you'd like to use this for song requests or whatever, we, we do provide that for you. Um, kind of a cool little listener map here. Uh, shows some of the um, locations where your listener is at. Uh, actually shows what player they're listening with, too, um, if you look at you know, click on each one specifically narrows it down by IP address. Um, but we'll go back to the Quick Links page. Um, you've also got your Shoutcast uh, DNAS page. This is kind of where you can log in as admin and and do uh, normal Shoutcast functions here. We also have all the tune-in links for you right here: um, the Winamp iTunes link or the PLS extension, the ASX, which is Windows Media Player. Uh, real player and QuickTime. We also uh, provide uh, port 80 proxy for all customers. Um, there's a lot of places of business where you can't listen. Um, anything but port 80 and 443 are blocked on their firewalls, uh, schools, uh, businesses, stuff like that. Um, so we do have the uh, web proxy here uh, that allows you to listen through port 80. Um, the other information that you're going to want to look at is the live source connections. Um, which you know explains that you have a shoutcast server it has the host name or the IP address um, also the port the password uh, is not shown but it is set up as the uh, source password from the stream settings and then it also has your maximum bit rate here so if we click on that uh, stream settings source password if we click this little button here it'll actually reveal what the password is so you can see you know um, obviously it's blurred out in this example but You'll see that it's, uh, you know, the source password. Um, that's what you use to connect to your broadcast. The administrator password, um, we have you update it in the client area, and that's the password you just used to log into the control panel. When you first sign up for service, it is the same password, uh, both for the source and administrator. Uh, so you can update that password in the client area. Um, the administrator password is also used for that Shoutcast DNAS page. So that kind of goes over the uh, quick links page on the Stream 101 Media Control Panel.